Hi everyone, it is me Katie Marie and welcome back or welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you all my breast reduction experience from when I had a breast reduction done actually on February 13th, 2023. So this is going to be my story time for all of you who are thinking about maybe getting a breast reduction done or are in the works of having it done. You know, maybe you are going to have your consultation appointment soon or maybe you've already had it and just want some uh, more information then i'm here to help you guys out originally i was going to do a different video for today's video but i'm not going to do that video today for personal reasons i will do it though another time that one is also going to be a story time but just obviously a different one so this video i'm doing today is totally spur of the moment because i'm in the mood to film a video i wrote down everything that i want to talk about in this video in my notebook right here and also on a side note really quick if you guys hear my chair like squeaking so that's what that noise is this chair is very old like i said i had a breast reduction done on february 13 2023 i actually had to lose weight in order to have a breast reduction done i was not told though by a doctor to lose weight for it. I was actually recommended to lose weight to have one done by my mom because my mom is actually a nurse and she works actually in the recovery room at a hospital. So she knows that like people need to lose weight in order to have surgery if they are overweight or even obese. That's why like on the show six or sorry, my 600 pound life show, people you know, need to lose a little bit of weight first in order to have their weight loss surgery so that way they can be healthy enough for surgery just in case if there's any complications that go wrong. That's the way my mom explained it to me at the time in 2021. So I'll get into all that obviously in this video. But first I'm going to tell you guys about what size I was in 2021 before I lost weight to have the surgery and then what size I was when I had my consultation appointment. And then I'll tell you guys what my bra size was after surgery and also what it currently is now because I have lost 50 pounds since having a breast reduction done. So it has helped me so much to lose weight. So it's just amazing to me and I really am grateful for the surgery even though there are some cons for me personally for having a breast reduction done on a side note. There are obviously pros as well so I feel like both are important to talk about of course. I feel like the surgery for me even though there are cons is totally worth it anyway. So back to what I was saying before about all of my sizes. In 2021 when I was extremely overweight I was like 200 20 pounds 223 pounds something like that anyway i was a 44 triple d aka a 44 f then in the summer of 2022 when i lost the weight that i lost to try to have the surgery I was wearing a 38i bra but to be honest with you all i think i was wearing the wrong size bra because my breasts they were very saggy from losing weight and also since like my rib cage got like smaller they just looked even bigger like i said i wore a 38 i bra but i don't think that was right. like i was looking at this like bra chart recently on google and i think my bra size after i lost weight was probably like a 42 g based off of my measurements because like i wrote down my measurements at the time to keep track of that because i just was curious to see to look back at all this so again i went from a 44 f to about like a 42 g and then after surgery i was a 42 c and now i am a 42 a so i have on these thrifted calvin klein black shorts and then for the comparison part, this yellow cropped tank top. It is so cropped on me because, you know, these are just so big. <laughs> anyway, so I thrifted this. This is originally from Pretty Little Thing. I think it's so cute. It says California on it right here. It is a size, I believe, medium. I would wear this around my apartment last summer quite often, but just around my apartment. Obviously, I would not wear this in public because... It's cute, but not cute on me at the moment. So I'm really hoping that it fits me properly anyway after my surgery. And if it does, I cannot wait to see what it's gonna look like even a few months from now over the summer. Okay guys, so here's the after clip of how that thrifted pretty little thing crop top looks on me now. So anyways, this is what it looks like. And look how cute this looks. It definitely looks like obviously more of a crop top. I can't get over how good it looks. And obviously these don't spill 
down. Oh, and also I've lost 12 pounds since my surgery. So I think that this whole thing looks so much better than it did before, not only because these are a C cup now, but also because I've lost weight. Um, so yeah, uh, so cute. Love it. Okay, so I am exactly one year post-op from breast reduction because today is February 13th, 2024 when I'm filming this, and now I am 49 pounds down, so it's almost 50 pounds that I've lost. I'm gonna continue my weight loss course because I know I can look even better than I do even now, but yeah, I look so good and I'm just so happy. My back feels so much better. Now let's get back to the video, of course. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you guys about my background. I am adopted and my birth father on his side of the family, well, so yeah, and my birth mother's side of the family, all the women on both sides of the family have bigger chests especially on my birth father's side of the family. And that's because on my birth father's side of the family, they are African and also Native American. That's the heritage that they are. So I have that as well in my DNA, which I think is pretty cool. When I was like, I wanna say the first time I started wearing a bra, I feel like I was eight years old. And then I do remember though, when I was like 10 years old, I was like a C cup and oh my gosh, the boys that I went to school would, would tease me so much. And my crush and his friends, I do remember this, they used to call me penguin because my chest would look so big to them, I guess. You know, like puffed out like a penguin. And I also would get like negative attention from older men, sadly. By the time I think I was like 14, I was probably like a D or double D. I don't know what band size I was, but I'll insert a picture of me, like a side view profile picture of me that I have in a swimsuit but just to make it less weird I'm gonna like crop it a little bit but anyway you can see just how big my breasts were compared to my tiny frame okay so now I'm gonna tell you guys about what made me want to have a breast reduction done in the first place so I was watching this documentary on Hulu in 2021 it's about this actress named Soleil Moonfry I heard about it because I really love the show Punky Brewster I used to watch it a lot when I was um, in high school in the 2010s, I used to watch reruns of it um, on TV Land. And Sully Moon Fry played Punky Brewster, and she got teased a lot in real life, including on the show she was on. They kind of like brought this up in one of the episodes. Henry? Yes? There's something I sort of well, want to talk to you about. I'm all ears. I'm not exactly sure how to exactly put this. So I'm with it. Henry, I'm getting boobs. She had large breasts and she had a breast reduction done. Basically, that's what the documentary is about. That's what inspired me to have the surgery because back when I was in high school, my mom asked me if I wanted to have a breast reduction done when I was like 16, but I told her no because my cousin, um, and trigger warning when I say this, but... And, I'm, and I might even do a story time on this as well, since it is going to be Sexual Assault Awareness Month. But anyway, uh, my cousin molested me uh, when I was 14. So anyway, like, um, I didn't want to have a breast reduction because of him. And what I mean by that is because I didn't want like a doctor looking at me because like obviously they have to look at you to examine you they have to see you without a bra on, like without a shirt on and i know it's not them looking inappropriately at you but at the same time i know that's what they have to do because they have to examine you to make sure you're right for the surgery and everything um like a good candidate that's what scared me and not because like i said um that they would look at you inappropriately because they're not it's just it, it would remind me of what my cousin did to me in my mid-20s I saw the documentary and I'm like oh my god I'm ready now I know I am I really want to get this done because they've grown even so much since high school so I call my mom up on the phone after like immediately after watching it and I say to her that I want to get it done and that's when she told me okay that's fine and everything but um you need to lose weight first before you can get it done I asked her why and she told me why and um, it's what I told you guys. So I lost the weight and by the summer of 2022, when I was wearing a 38i bra, even though like I said, I don't think that's actually my size. But anyway, I was hit with a curveball. I found out that I had a thyroid disease and I couldn't get the surgery. Well, not breast reduction anyway, 
That's why I have this scar right here on my throat because I had to have a different surgery. In August of 2022, I had to have surgery to have my thyroid gland removed since I was having like thyroid issues. My mom and I, we didn't look into me having breast reduction until my mom felt that I was healed and strong enough again to have a breast reduction. So then finally on December 28th, 2022, that's when I had my consultation appointment. My doctor, she during my consultation appointment, she asked me questions about like what was bothering me. And I told her that I had a lot of back and shoulder pain. And I also had shoulder like grooves from like my uh, bras at the time, like right here. They would dig so much in my, into my skin that it would leave like purplish reddish marks really deep. And it was so painful to touch, it felt like a really bad sunburn. I had like severe back pain at my job as well because I work at a store and it can get pretty physical. I don't work at the register, I work on uh, the sales floor so there's a lot of work that needs to be done also it, it was very hard for me to breathe that night and that's because my breast would weigh down my chest i just couldn't breathe to go to sleep and also i did tell her too that in the summertime i would wear four to five like lounge bras so this is a bra that i wear now now that i'm a 42a but you know like these kinds of lounge bras so i'd wear like a 3x of this. This is an extra large now that I'm smaller, but I'd wear this in a 3x and I'd wear like four to five of them. Just give me enough support um, to be able to wear a tank top in the summertime. So that's crazy. So I definitely told my doctor about that and she approved me for surgery right away. She also told me some other things too, like how she would do the anchor cut on me. So basically, um, there's like two different ways that your surgeon can go about how to like take away pounds and you know fat things like that from your breast from having a breast reduction. I think there's something called the lollipop and then there's another one called the anchor one. She did the anchor one on me so basically that's like when they cut around your nipple like that and then they go down like that and then out. From under so she also told me that i would not be able to breastfeed because like how large my breasts were my insurance though did not cover my surgery at all one because my insurance sucks because i actually have medicaid because i have a disability i have autism and other disabilities so um that's why i'm on medicaid and they don't really cover much of anything unfortunately and um number two because like i told you guys literally the year before, in 2022, I had surgery to have my thyroid removed from my throat. So they completely covered that surgery because they felt like that one was a need. And they felt like the breast reduction was not a need at all, even though I was having a lot of physical issues. But they didn't see it as a health problem. So how I ended up having the surgery, I paid for it out of pocket using money from when my grandfather had passed away in 2022. So I used my inheritance money for that. My surgery cost 10600 and $65. And also the week before surgery, I had a phone interview with this nurse from the hospital who told me things that I should know before having the surgery done, like how she told me that I'm not supposed to shave for like, I think she said like two days or the night before surgery, something like that. Because she said that it could cause an infection if I cut myself and not know. Also, the week before surgery, she told me that I would have to wash my body with antibacterial body wash, so I did that. And also I had to shower the morning of surgery with that same body wash as well. And then the night before surgery, she told me that I wasn't allowed to eat or drink anything, not even water, past whatever time at night, can't remember. And then that night, I actually ended up going to bed at like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night. Um, because I was just like so excited. I was not scared at all. So I watched some ASMR videos to help me to fall asleep faster. And I woke up the next morning, so morning of surgery. I woke up at 3.15 in the morning. And me and my mom got to the hospital at like 5 in the morning. Because my surgery was scheduled to actually be done. Not done, but like be performed, I should say, at 8 o'clock in the morning. Also, before I was wheeled into the hospital room to get hooked up, with IVs, I think that's how it went, if I'm remembering correctly. And to get like the ox oxygen mask and everything put on. Sorry, I'm stuttering. But anyway, before all that happened, they got me all comfortable. They put like a really warm 
heated blanket on me. Then my doctor came in and she asked me what size I'd like to be. And she said, well, actually, we both agreed that a C cup would be best for me based off of like how big my breasts were and how we couldn't go any smaller because then it wouldn't look proportionate to my body. At the same time, they're really big, so we wanted to go as small as we possibly could. She ended up taking, by the way, a thousand milligrams off of my right side and 990 milligrams off of my left side, which therefore she took off four pounds total off of my breasts. She also drew marks all over my breasts so she would know what to do in the operating room. And then it was time eventually, of course, for me to be operated on. And then I woke up in the recovery room afterwards from surgery at 12 o'clock noon. Then my mom brought me home from the hospital and I had drains in my sides. And that's because due to the size of my breasts, I needed to have drains because some people don't need drains. It just depends on what your uh, doctor thinks. Um, but like I said, because mine were so large from before, I had to have drains to help drain out the fluid and stuff like that, which was pretty gross, I will admit, because you have to like change them out and gotta take all the blood out of the cups and everything on your sides because like basically they're just like little tubes coming out of your sides and um there's like cup things attach the tubes on each side and that's how, how the drains catch the blood and pus and yeah it's really it's not pleasant especially since obviously you're going to be in some pain after surgery and you're going to be in your bed and you have to lay in your bed with the drains attached to you yeah it's not pleasant like I keep saying so also i did have a um pink zip up on in the car ride home also i would wear that pink zip up and other zip ups and button down shirts throughout the i think for like two weeks is how much i wore those types of clothing for for tops because you can't lift up your arms above your head to like get your shirt off if you were to wear a regular shirt which that would be really big issue because like I said in order to do that you have to lift your shirt up over your head and that could rip open your incisions which is definitely not good so that's why you have to wear zip ups and button down shirts because it's more safer that way and then underneath on um, the pink zip up I had on this black surgical bra that the hospital put on me while I was under anesthesia during the surgery that bra was not comfortable at all so I ended up ordering fruit of the loom surgical bras on Amazon those were a little bit more comfortable also they do sell those same exact ones at Walmart which I didn't know at the time just to let you guys know so as like an option so anyway my mom and my dad they took care of me at their house for one week and also I did have like a pillow which I forgot to grab to show you guys in this video it's actually on my bed and I'm recording right in front of my bed so I'll grab that in a moment actually let me grab that right now Okay, so this is the pillow that I'm talking about. So it looks like this. I forgot what these are called, but basically women use these like when they're pregnant too, or you can use them after you've had a breast reduction. So it works either way. So anyways, you can get these on Amazon. And my aunt, Christine, bought this for me, which is so nice of her. I even love using it now. It's just like so comfy to use, even though I've already had the surgery. There's a little pocket right here. So it's really nice to still relax your bed to put pressure like this on your breasts and you can put like a tv remote in here so you can watch tv um you can put your phone in here and this which is really helpful and really helpful for me to get comfortable at night trying to fall asleep so my first post-op appointment with my doctor was two days after my surgery and a lot of people say when they get their drains taken out which was when i got mine taken out by the way it was my first post-op appointment when people get their drains taken out a lot of people say it does not hurt me it hurt a ton for some odd reason and i still have scars um in my sides from where the drains were they're these little dark little circles probably a little bit smaller than a dime also speaking of scars my scars did not heal right after surgery if you notice too um for when i had this surgery and I had this scar right here it's all bumpy and stuff because this scar too did not heal right this is basically what my scars look like after my breast reduction. This was supposed to heal on a side note like six months after this surgery and it's still sore and it's been like almost two years since I've had this done. It is so painful. Like here is how bumpy these scars are. 
So yeah, like, it's just so bumpy. And I don't even wear bras most of the time. I mean, unless I'm at work. If I'm out in public and if it's kind of a chilly day, like if I'm grocery shopping or whatever, I'll just wear like a crew neck sweatshirt and no one would even know that I'm not wearing a bra because I can't wear a bra. It's too painful. Like the bras just rub against my scars right here. And even to touch them right now, I'm in so much pain. I have used scar cream. This is the scar cream that I have used that my mom bought for me on Amazon. Just in case you guys are wondering, if you guys want to try it, feel free to try it if you want. It just didn't really work for me. But this is Mederma PM Intense Overnight Scar Cream. Didn't do anything. Didn't make them disappear at all. But like I said, if you guys want to try that, feel free. So my mom read the reviews because she bought that for me and she said they're really good reviews. The only reason why that didn't work for me is because my doctor told me that it's just the way my body reacts to being cut intensely. So she's like, due to how from your surgeries, um, you know, you were cut deeply. It's just your body's way of reacting to try to heal you up really quick. And your body produces too many skin cells. And it makes that bumpy kind of look. Even though, like, I'm done seeing my doctor, she discharged me, like, over the summer last year in 2023. Like, she's like, you don't need to see me anymore. There's nothing else I can do for you. My mom and I are going to try to see her again this summer. She did give me injections. Well, not injections. An injection on one side. And that was really painful. It was a giant needle. But I don't really want to go through that again. But the on only other option she mentioned at the time is to get radiation treatment done. But at the same time, she was a little unsure th about that. Because she's like, I don't think even that would work. And she's also like, that could be risky. Anyway, because she's like, that can cause you to have breast cancer because of the amount of scars you have, like how intense they are and how much radiation treatment you would need for it to make it like go away, then you could get breast cancer because of that. So yeah, it's a wild ride with the scars. But that's basically why I'm saying for me personally, the surgery at cons is because of the scar issues. Um, but other than that, I'm really happy with it. I really love this top, by the way. I think it looks so cute on me. I love how it can fit in clothes better. I love how, you know, like I was showing you guys before, I can wear bras like this. This used to be my mom's bra, by the way. On a side note, she's the same exact bra size as me. So I think that's pretty cool. We can share clothes now and bras. It's so much fun. My mom doesn't want this bra anymore, so she gave it to me. Um, this used to also be my mom's bra. The blue one is an extra large. And this one is a 2X. I really love this one. This one's so comfy. They're both from Walmart. And then I also made this bra. Cause I love to sew. This is from a sewing pattern from the 1960s. This is from a swimsuit sewing pattern. So like this top is technically supposed to be a bikini top from the pattern, but I made it into a bra because I just thought it would look so cute as a cute little lounge bra. So that's why I made this. It fits me so well. I'm really proud of this too. I've never made a bra before uh, from sewing until I made that. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this video was helpful. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care and I love you all so much. Make sure to subscribe if you want to. Okay, bye for now.